costly practice that only services a very minor segment of the society at the expense of the majority should be confined to the rubbish dump whose security vote help you or me. With reference to a recent report published by Transparency International titled Camouflag Cashed, How Security Vote for Corruption in Nigeria, in Nigeria, the word security vote only means one thing to some people, official corruption and abuse of power. Yet the beneficiaries of security votes, politicians and security officials, argue that they needed to subsidize the oppression of Nigeria overstretch and underfunded federal security. As a result, security votes have become a cancerous tumor in our state budget, unaccounted for. Transparency International, in that same research, we estimated that the secretive unaccounted for cash expenditure add up to over 241 billion naira annually. The analysis of 29 states' budget, no data exists for seven though, revealed that this state spent an average of 208.8 billion naira in each total year on security vote. Just type security vote on Google and what Wikipedia will reveal to you will give you sleepless nights in a poor country like Nigeria. Kindly permit me to look at some of the figures states by states. Imo State, 4 billion naira annually. Enugu State, 7.2 billion naira annually. Anambra and Abia, 10 billion and 8 billion respectively annually. No record is available for Eboin. White Cross River State is 6 billion naira annually. River State is 18 billion naira annually. Akwaibom and Edo are 21 billion and 10 billion respectively annually. Data State, the state with the big heart, is 24 billion naira annually, and no record available for the oil rich state of Bayesa. Lagos State is less than the oil rich state with 17.14 billion naira annually. Ondo State spends 7.2 billion naira annually. Oshu State is 4.8 billion naira, while Ogun State spends between 916 million to 1.2 billion annually. A kid state, state that couldn't pay salaries under PDP fire share, spends 1.2 billion annually as security vote. And I'm not aware if that has reduced under the current Fire Me APC government, though. Borno State is 9.6 billion annually. No wonder Boko Haram will never come to an end. The three states of Yobe, Taraba, and Bauchi spent 3.8 billion naira, 2.4 billion, and 17 billion naira annually, respectively. Kaduna State spends 4.8 billion naira annually, divided into 2.1 billion as security votes and 2.7 billion security vote preventive and supportive for the office of the SSG. That should be, that should be to compensate those whose cow were rustled or killed. Casina State spends the lowest so far. It spends about 211 million annually, while Zamfara spends 7.2 billion annually. Benue State spends 37 billion with about 3.09 billion as uh, amounts allocated to personnel and over costs annually all of this. Quara has no available records. Plateau, Kogi, and Nasara State spent 2.6 billion annually, 4.8 billion, and 1.2 billion, respectively. While lastly, Niger State spends 15.7 annually. Surprisingly, the amount spent is not dependent on insecurity in the state. I might be wrong. I beg help me check and too. With all of these amounts, our police is still heavily and seriously underfunded. My advocacy for today is that to stop this drain pipe, the federal government through the National Assembly must pass law outlawing security vote because this vote money and monies spent by the governor on insecurity unaccounted for, both at the federal level and at the state level. Such laws should also specify budgeting procedures and criteria for security expenditures. Finally, government should support state government's effort to set up security trust form, which must be professionally managed, just like you have in Lagos states as a constructive first step towards phasing out security vote. For it is only transparency in fund management that will enhance accountability that can only help in fighting corruption in Nigeria. Yeah, well done. Wow. I'm so glad oh, that God. somebody finally raised this security. I mean, people talk about it, but when you break it down with the figures that you've, you've attached to it per state, I'm disgusted, really, you know? But my problem now lies, the people that are chopping from this 
are not the people that are going to change this. So I think looking at what we could do going forward, I think we have to now push for transparency, push for, you know, we want to see budgets, how these things are spent, because I can tell you that this thing is not, they're not going to no. wipe it out. We're not going to get transparency. They're not going to, no, but they have because to give us something. You, it is security. And security okay. right. is always a name for hiding things. Yes, yes you, but you, if the, there's still massive insecurity in the states all around us, shouldn't we then say, oh, okay, you got the security money, but we're all still afraid, we can't move around. Yeah, that's a so, chance to ask so for more money. Us what, what you are spending in... this money. I think we have every right to ask mm -hmm. that. Um, so I, I, you, you don't think or what? Uh, I, I, actually, I'm very perplexed. <laughs> Just normally, yeah. Like so, that. so I'm, 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 I'm even trying to find my words because I'm like, I mean, look at Delta State. You really need to find your words. Mm. It's like, you know, like, the yes, yeah, ben, and I'm Ben, you, and I'm like, so, so, please, what is this security for? Because to a reasonable extent, I have a fair idea of what that money is used for. Okay, go on. But help us. I, you? Yes, yeah, I have a fair tell idea. Us. Oh, please tell us. Please tell us something. I just no, no, I'll, 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 I'll get to it. I just did not think that it was going to get. So you see, when you. When um, this is what they use for, um, a lot of the government officials use for what I'll call um, extra extracurricular activities. Yes, and takeaways. Uh, okay. Um, so and that's the, the, the seven no, billion no, no. takeaways. So, yeah, so, what so are we talking seeing, about? <laughs> seeing the number at that seven billion, so I'm asking that's myself. That's crazy. So that's the takeaway, and then to a reasonable extent, I also hear that. So sometimes they also they are. Um, on written rules about how the money is shared. Mm. So, you know, so you it's called security vote. Yeah. So it's called security vote. So there is a commissioner of police in the state. There is maybe a um, maybe a GOC or this ones and all of that. So mm. sometimes it actually goes a bit into something called security, at least from the information that I have. However, there is almost, at least again from what I know, zero accountability. But I will go back to my first statement. Never, I have never you didn't know seen this kind of the level number of where this pilfering was going on. Like, yeah. You know, Akane had said something about trust the other time. Mm. You know, you want, for a government, for example, to be able to raise revenue, you need the people to trust you. It's one of the problems we're having with taxation. Yeah. Because people will like to ask, what did you do with the taxes? Mm -hmm. I already pay you. Can mm -hmm. I see it? So when you come and say, pay me more taxes, people will ask questions. Mm -hmm. Now, these are issues that deplete the trust capital totally. Completely. You take 37 billion naira. Imagine that. You, you, you are not accountable to anybody wage. for it. Minimum wage we're dragging. Benny was owing salary for several mm -hmm. months. That's this. Ekitinko. And it could, you see, it, it oh, sorry. Uh, no, I, you know, in a way, I want to thank Libros, even though it's stomach churning to hear these figures. It's, it's horrible. But I'm, what I'm saying, and I, again, maybe it takes it back to show Ray for me, is that how can anybody incarcerate him for using the word revolution? That's exactly what we need. Because agree. when you're looking at a spread like this, you're not going to get people who are reasoning like this to do anything productive. They may give you a little here, a little there, but they're not inclined to do anything yeah. productive. It's even better to set them aside, pay them a stipend, and get some technocrats to do the job. Because these people's head will not be this in the kind job. of money. Their head is in what this they can this take kind of from money the, that stops the, you the from public thinking. purse. It will so not quite sorry, there's nothing you're saying. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no, of course it does. That, that is how they are these people. I will literally say that I, 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 I won't say money. anything on this. But the unfortunate part is that this is not the budget, the security budget for the states. No, it's just... Ad this hoc. is a vote for the governor. governor. Okay, apart from the security mm. budget. Apart from the budget security. for security. So, so how do they define this is the just use of a that vote. money? How do they define it? It's, it's, pocket it's money. on they account don't account for for anybody for that. Yeah, it's on accounted I... for. Mm. So who brought this? Nobody who brought will this into query law? you. Who, who allowed this? Nobody to will it was introduced under Abbasanjo. Nobody will query you for spending mm. security yeah, vote nobody. anyhow. So it's mm. constitutionally there. Yes, your vote the law allows it. You can't be queried for it. And and so when you have this kind of money, careless in somebody his hands and then you want him to leave I wonder why they even brought it yeah. in the I mean, the, the kind of wealth this... we encourage sponsoring of uh, yeah, but you see, the, sec and the security insecurity. vote reminds me of the constituency projects as well, where, you know, they, they give 
certain amounts to con constituency projects. And then meanwhile, people are busy commissioning borehole. Or, or shoemaker. Shoe oh, yes. Yeah, you know, uh, sewing machine. Sewing machine. Sewing machine. Yeah. 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 You know, it's crazy. Grinding. A lot grinding. of these things need the to be scrapped. The money is driving the people, this, this not, are the not the other way around. Depleting the trust mm -hmm. capital yeah. and why people cannot trust government. Exactly. So we need more transparency. It's not even that we're saying don't have the security, but we need more transparency. <laughs> well, you've said it all. So with that, we'll call it a wrap. So much to say and so little time. Keep the conversation going on, however, on our Facebook, plus TV Africa, hashtag the advocate or NG. Or on Twitter, like they say, and Instagram, at plus TV Africa, hashtag the advocate NG. To catch up with previous broadcasts, go to plus TV Africa.com forward slash the advocates. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, plus TV Africa. Till next time, when we'll be returning with fresh topics for your inspiration. Let's keep advocating for a better society. Yeah. Very kind of us. Tara. Welcome to The Advocate, a program that thrashes out all the topical issues of the day. When you are in government, you don't see nothing wrong mm, with exactly. whatever is happening. Mm -hmm. The moment you are out there, everything is that wrong. Is, you can't even see yes. many women now, and when they're there, they're not even really making a mark, and then they have an NYSC problem, and this is that. Really? It's disastrous for a president to, even say to be he's unaware. unaware of it, the chief it's justice. It's a ploy. It could be a strategy. That strategy was it's a very, very <laughs> terrible strategy. <laughs> because the box stops at your table. Whether it's that we don't look after our cities, and quite frankly, Nigeria is becoming a very ugly place. Mm. When you are the only one feeding the people with this news, and there is nobody countering them, it becomes, you know, the, the news.